जय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य भूर चंद्र जया दैत चंद्र जया जय नित्यानंद जय जय गदाधर जय श्रीनिवास जय मुकुंद वासुदेव जय हरिदास Hare Krishna Raghupati Prabhu. <laughs> Hare Krishna Mataji. Welcome to the GBC SPT channel. We're so honored to have you here with us today. We have been having um for the last 4 weeks we have been hosting many wonderful speakers on various topics uh, in the Chaitanya Charitamrita in our series called um appreciating the Chaitanya Charitamrita approaching and um we have discussed so many different things from um you know how to approach radha and krishna through gornita uh, we've even spoken about past times with shri prabhupad in in mayapur during the gopanima um festival so many wonderful speakers we also still have um uh, a whole week more to go and just you know so many more surprises ahead of us so thank you everyone um for joining us today for joining us the entire four weeks i'm so honored to introduce my friend uh, ragupati prabhu who was uh, born near the historic city of Jhansi in UP in India and he like many many devotees lives was transformed after reading Shri Prabhupada's books uh, when he was in his graduate um, studies in Kanpur and he joined ISKCON in in Vrindavan and received initiation uh, into our parampara from his holiness Gopal Krishna Maharaj So he served there for many years as a brahmachari and in various uh, managerial capacities and um he being in Vrindavan he had the good fortune to uh, study the scripture um, under the tutelage of many ad- advanced devotees so um what was amazing is that he he had the opportunity to then um serve in various iskon institutions as a teacher the mayapur institute the bhakti vedanta college in belgium and then he got married in 1999 when he moved to um to england where he pursued an mba and is now completing his phd in management um from the university of birmingham so um I'm so um happy to introduce him because not only is he able to balance his um academic pursuits with um spiritual life he's also very dedicated towards um spreading Krishna consciousness and still teaches and preaches um, um across the UK. So with that I'm going to hand you over um to Raghupati Prabhu who is going to discuss a very um very confidential pastime uh, the mahab mahabhav prakash leela of mahaprabhu so uh with that uh, thank you so much ragupati prabhu and we look forward to hearing you um contribute to the nectar that we have been um enjoying over the last one month or so thank you so much hari krishna so we are very grateful i'm really grateful to the spt gbc body to organize these nectarian discourses which have been coming from many advanced vaishnavas and i have been personally benefited so i have been listening to these discourses and uh, i i feel uh, very privileged and very grateful to this opportunity to speak on sri chaitanya charitamrita so I'm just going to start with the invocation prayers and then move on to the topic today. Om Gyanit Timrandhasya Gyananjan Shalakya Chakshun Milutamena Tasmay Shri Guruve Namaha Shri Chaitan Manobhishtam Sthapitam Ena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahiyam Dadati Sopadantikam वंदे हम श्री गुरु श्री उत्पद कमलम श्री गुरु वैष्णवांश श्री रूप सागृजात सहगन रघुनाथ साद्वैत सवधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पाद सहगन ललिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगतपथे गोपेश गोपिका कांत 
राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विश्वभान सुते देवी प्रणमामी हरिप्रिय पांच कल्प तरु भयश कृपा सिंधु भय बचा पति तनाम पावने भ्यो वैष्णव भ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा हरि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे अजानुलंबित भुज कनिका संकीर्तन पितर कमलायता विश्वभर दुजर युग धर्म पाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा सो थैंक यू वंस अगेन यू ऑर्गेनाइजर्स जीवीसीएसपीटी एंड ऑल द डिबोटीज फॉर ड्रेंचिंग थाउजेंड्स ऑफ डिबोटीज वर्ल्ड वाइड विद दीज नेक्टेरियन डिस्कोर्सेस ऑन श्री चैतन्य चरताम the topic today is mahabhav prakash leela of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu so i'm just going to uh, sing a couple of lines from narottam das thakur glorifying the narrations of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu gorangera duti pada जार धन संपद से जान भक्ति रसुसा गौरांगे मधुर लीला जार कर्ण प्रवेशीला गौरांगे मधुर लीला जार कर्ण प्रवेशीला हृदय निर्मल भीलता दैट पर्सन हु एक्सेप्ट द टू लोटस फीट ऑफ श्री गौरांग एज द ट्रेजर नोज द एसेंस ऑफ भक्ति रसा द डिवाइन मेलो ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस एंड इफ द स्वीट पास टाइम्स of gauranga have actually entered through the threshold of someone's ears that person is pure in heart so these narrations of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu have a very purifying effect and for last uh, Three four weeks, some th- four weeks, uh, we have been hearing of uh, Mahaprabhu's narrations, Prabhupada Katha mm-hmm. and Gaur Katha, from so many wonderful Vaishnavas. So coming back to the topic, Mahaprakash Lila of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Just to see the context, I'm going to. just go a little bit uh, into krishna's past times so we look at one quotation from a uh, kathopanishad and then prayers of queen kunti you come to the topic today nayam atma pravachnena labdhya na medhya na bahuna shutena यम एवेश बृणते तेन लभ्य तस्श आत्मा विवृणते तनु स्वाम द सुप्रीम सेल्फ कैन नेवर बी नॉन बाय एनी अमाउंट ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट रीजनिंग इंटेलिजेंस और बाय मच हियरिंग टू दोज होम ही चूजेस ही मे रिवील हिज पर्सनल फॉर्म so krishna is revealed only to those 
whom he chooses to reveal. And this is one of the key factors in Mahaprabhu's Mahaprakash Leela or all the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When we look at Arjuna seeing the universal form, Krishna decided to give him divine eyes. So the Lord said that you cannot see me with these eyes. Natumam sarkese drishtum ane neo swachakshusha divyam dadamite chakshu pasyame yogameshwaram. But you cannot see me with your present eyes. Therefore, I give to you divine eyes by which you can behold my mystic opulence. So Arjuna was given divine eyes to see Krishna. This is very surprising because Arjuna was with Krishna as his friend, intimate friend. So often, he would spend years and years of time with the Lord in Dwarka. And then the Lord would come so often to Hastinapur. And whenever the Pandavas were in trouble, Krishna would come. So, obviously Arjuna had seen Krishna. Then how is it the same Krishna is giving Arjuna divine eyes to see him? And he is saying that Natu Mamsa Kashe Drishtum, that with these eyes you cannot see me. So Arjuna was given divine eyes to see Krishna. And then he beheld the universal form of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna. Now, what we see in Mahaprabhu's Leela, that the Lord doesn't bother giving anybody divine eyes. His mercy is so overwhelming that anyone who is touched by his mercy, no matter whether they are human beings, demigods, or even animals, they all get to see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as their Lord and Master. It's like we know the Jharikhand. In the Jharikhand forest, Mahaprabhu made tigers, elephant, and all the animals of opposite natures, like snakes, peacocks, lions, deers. They all were dancing. So this is the efficacy, the wonderful mercy of Sichata Mahaprabhu. So in the Upanishad verse that we just read, it says that when the Lord wants to expose himself, he wants us to know him, then we would know him. Otherwise, the Lord, Lord remains concealed in his Yogamaya curtain. Naham Prakasa Sarvasya Yogamaya Samavrita, Krishna says. That I'm not manifested to everyone and I'm concealed in the curtain of my yoga maya. This has been confirmed by Kunti Maharani in Shuman Bhagavatam. So Kunti Maharani happens to be Krishna's aunt. And in some cases, we see that the Lord was more mercifully disposed to Kunti Maharani than he was to his own mother. Devaki. This is so because Devaki lost, lost eight, six of her sons. But Kunti Maharani did not lose uh, any of her sons amongst the Pandavas. Of course, she lost Karna, who was also her son. So Kunti Maharani is saying, Maya Javanika Achannam. Being beyond the range of limited sense perception, 
you are the eternally irreproachable factor covered by the curtain of deluding energy. You are invisible to the foolish observer, exactly as an actor dressed as a player is not recognized. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has covered himself. He has concealed himself in the form of a devotee, in the garb of a devotee. Panchitattvatnikam Krishnam Bhakta Rupa Sarupakam Bhaktavataram Bhaktakyam Namami Bhakta Shaktikam. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is Krishna himself as revealed by Sri Rupa Goswami and also other scriptures like Shriman Bhagavatam, Mahabharat, Upanishad, Chaitanya Upanishad, and many scriptures. So he is Krishna himself, Krishna and Krishna Chaitanya Namane, Gaurat Tushanamaha. Rupa Goswami is praying. Namo Mahabhadanyaya, Krishna Prema Pradayati. So Rupa Goswami has recognized Krishna, although the Lord is concealed, has concealed himself in the form of a devotee. So Kunti Maharani's analogy that the Lord is like an actor, expert actor. And he concealed himself as a devotee, so the atheist cannot understand him. And this is not surprising that even to this day, predominantly people consider Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as a devotee, not as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So Kunti Maharani understands this, that the Lord is exposed, manifest only to his devotees. And he remains concealed like an actor. So what is she su suggesting? She is suggesting, Shramanti Gayanti Grinti Abhikshansa Smaranti Nandanti Tavehitam Janaha Tayeva Pashanti Achirena Tavakam Bhava Pravahu Paramam Padamujam. O Krishna, those who continuously hear, chant, and repeat your transcendental activities or take pleasure in others doing so, certainly see your lotus feet, which alone can stop the repetition of birth and death. So, in the last four weeks, we have seen that the devotees have been hearing and chanting and making this possible for others living in far distant places to hear and chant the glories of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the glories of his pure devotee, his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada. So in Mahaprakash Leela, the Lord reveals himself to many devotees. When we look at Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes, so because he is Krishna, just like Krishna's pastime, childhood pastimes, then his pastime between the age from uh, 5 to 10, then 11 to 15. So his pastimes are also like Krishna's pastimes. So when the Lord goes to Gaya, a transformation happens. He sees Iswar Puri, his spiritual master. And in Gaya, after seeing Vishnupad, the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu, by the mercy of his spiritual master, the Lord goes in trance. So having written, written from Gaya, Mahaprabhu is completely changed. Although now he is teaching his students in his uh, school, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was running a school, but he cannot teach grammar and he cannot teach any other subject. Only he can, he can teach is Krishna Nam 
कृष्ण भक्ति सो हिज स्टूडेंट्स आर ऑल्सो आर समवाट सरप्राइज एंड ऑल्सो बिबिल दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज है a dry subject like grammar sanskrit grammar is being taught with krishna's names so mahaprabhu is teaching grammar but through krishna's names not through the sutras of padini or kalap the famous grammarian of sanskrit but because the chetan mahaprabhu is krishna himself so if grammar can be taught through krishna's name it must be possible even if his student don't understand this later on shri jeev goswami compiled an entire system of sanskrit grammar called shri hari nama amrit vyakaranam and this grammar has 3000 sutras that are at the rules and regulations of sanskrit grammar but everything is based on krishna's name for example the very first sutra of shri hari nama amrit vyakaranam is narayanat udbhutvayam varnakramah entire alphabet all the alphabets Have emanated from Narayan, Krishna's name. The Trado Chaturdas Sarveshwara, Kacha Ta Ta Pa Hari Kamala. So like that, Vishnu Jan Sandhi, Sarveshwara Sandhi. So just like that, Jeev Jeev Goswami has written an entire system of grammar. and devotees of gaudi vaishna sampradaya and other sampradaya study this grammar shil prabhupa says that anyone who studies this grammar will become uh, a devotee of krishna because this grammar sanskrit grammar gives the chance uh, to a student to not only learn the difficult sanskrit grammatical system of language but also uh, become purified in the heart and mind so mahaprabhu was teaching his student and they were getting confused one day sachi mata was at home and mahaprabhu along with his friend gadadhar pandit he was sitting in a room and mahaprabhu became uh, very ecstatic and also uh, he became very disturbed he asked gadadhar pandit where is krishna and when will i see krishna so gadadhar pandit said that krishna is in your heart so then mahaprabhu just like hanuman started tearing his heart apart his chest he attempted to tear his chest just like hanuman ji has uh, torn his chest and he was told that ram and sita sita ram they reside in his heart so he wanted to check and he tore his chest apart so immediately then gadadhar pandit consoled the lord as sachi mata in those instances used to feel a bit afraid to approach nimai so lord chaitanya was completely absorbed in the thoughts of krishna feeling separation from krishna and time to time the lord was would uh, display his various past times one time he went to the bank of ganga and he saw advaita acharya taking bath so advaita acharya prabhu understood that the lord of his heart has come so he came and he offered prayer to 
Nimai Pandit. Now this was very unusual because normally Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to respect Nimai Pandit. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nimai Pandit uh, would respect Advaita Acharya as his spiritual master. So Mahaprabhu accepted those prayers. And then he let Advaita Acharya go. One time it so happened that Advaita Acharya was not so pleased with the fact that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would always act like his spiritual master. So he wanted Mahaprabhu to consider him, Advaita Acharya Prabhu, as his eternal servant, as Mahavishnu, expansion of Lord Balram, Mahavishnu, who is Advaita Acharya incarnate, he is serving Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is serving Krishna. So Advaita Acharya devised a plan. He start and he started teaching of Advaita Vedanta, which is impersonal philosophy. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to know, immediately he went and he started beating Advaita Acharya Prabhu. So more Mahaprabhu was beating him, more Advaita Acharya was dancing and enjoying. And saying, yes, today I have been blessed. Today I have been blessed. Because Vishwambar has accepted me as his eternal servant. So when Mahaprabhu realized what was happening, he became very embarrassed. So we see that in Mahaprabhu's Leela, Mahaprabhu's pastimes, he would manifest certain pastimes. And then he would uh, come to his external senses and feel embarrassed. So Mahaprabhu became very embarrassed and he came back to his house. One time, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Shiva's Thakur's house. And Shiva's Thakur was uh, worshipping his Nishing Shila. So Mahaprabhu took the four-armed Vishnu form and started hitting, kicking, the door of Shiva's Thakur's house. So Shiva's Thakur eventually opened the door. And what he sees was just amazing. See Chaitan Mahaprabhu in his Vishnu form, four hour. And he orders Shiva's Thakur to offer all the worship he had for Vishnu in his house. So Shiva's Thakur and set Mahaprabhu on the throne and asked entire family to come and worship Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with the paraphernalia, puja paraphernalia that was secured for the worship of Lord Vishnu. So having received his worship, Mahaprabhu then blessed everyone. Mahaprabhu knew that Shiva's Thakur being a very simple-hearted Vaishnava. He was fearful that at some point some Kajis or Mullahs or Muslim rulers are going to come and arrest him. Shiva's Thakur's Angan, his courtyard became like Vrindavan. So just like in Krishna's pastimes, we see the Lord is are born to Mother Devaki. But then he goes to Vrindavan to perform his amorous pastimes, his childhood pastimes, and his uh, pastimes with the gopis. So similarly, the Lord would stay in, uh, in his house, in Jagannath Mishra's house, but then he would go to perform Sankirtan. And uh, many, many pastimes in Shiva's Thakur's house, Shiva Sangan. So one day, when Mahaprabhu was in his uh, mood, in his ecstasy, and manifested himself as Chaturvud Vishnu, 
He told Shivas, don't worry. I know that you are worried about these Kajis, Mullahs uh, arresting you. But let the boats come. So there was a rumor that some boats were going to come and arrest the devotees because the devotees were performing Sankirtan and people in the neighborhood were getting very disturbed. Some atheistic people and they were either ridiculing, criticizing or they were about to lodge a complaint with the uh, Muslim ruler. So Mahaprabhu said to Srinivas, Srinivas, don't worry. If those boats come, the soldiers come here to arrest you, I would go. I will ask them to arrest me. And then I would go and speak to these Kaji Mullahs and challenge them. I would challenge them to recite their scripture and make the animals, human beings, chant and dance in ecstasy. If they cannot do it, I would do it and show them. So Shiva's Thakur uh, was believing whatever Mahaprabhu was saying. Then Mahaprabhu said, if you don't believe, let me demonstrate to you. So Mahaprabhu called Narayani, who eventually became the mother of Shil Vrindavanda's Thakur, who is known as the Vyas of Chaitanya Leela. He wrote Chaitanya Bhagavat. So pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are described in almost seven, yeah, seven biographies. But some of them are uh, very prominent, just like Chaitan Mangal, Chaitan Bhagavat, and Chaitan Chirtamrit. So Chaitan Chirtamrit describes Mahaprabhu's pastimes briefly, very concisely, if they are described in Chaitan Bhagavat elaborately. Because Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami understood that those pastimes which were revealed to Vindavandas Thakur, uh, then they are perfect descriptions. And therefore, he only briefly describes certain pastimes. Particularly Mahaprabhu's childhood pastimes and his Naudhi pastimes are uh, briefly described, but very elaborately described in Chaitanya Bhagavat. So Mahaprabhu said, but let me show you. He called Narayani, four-year-old niece of Shiva's Thakur. He said, Narayani, come here. So Narayani came. Then Mahaprabhu said to her, Narayani, now you chant Krishna's names and dance in ecstasy. So immediately Narayani, as if she was electrified, um, she was empowered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He started chanting and dancing in ecstasy, shedding torrents of tears. Everyone saw. And everyone was surprised that four-year-old girl could chant and dance like that. So Srivast Thakur then understood the Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and under his shelter, all the devotees are safe. One day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started blessing all the devotees in Shiva's Angan. So Mahaprabhu would get in this mood, Mahaprakash, in this mood of ecstasy. Now, this is very difficult to understand uh, for those who have no devotion to Mahaprabhu. So earlier on, uh, we just read a verse from Kathopanishad, which says that only those souls whom the Lord chooses to reveal can understand him. So these were those rare souls in Shiva Sangan. The Shiva Sangan used to be closed in the night before Mahaprabhu's pastimes happened. So one day, the Lord called Mukundadatta. 
So Mukundita was waiting outside Shiva Sangan, and he had come to take part in Mahaprabhu's pastimes. But Mahaprabhu told Shivas that Mukundita cannot come. So this was conveyed to Mukundita, and Mahaprabhu said that you cannot come. In the near future, you cannot come to participate in Mahaprabhu's pastimes. So Mukundita was thinking that Mahaprabhu said that in near future you cannot come. So maybe in a distant future I might be able to participate in Mahaprabhu's pastimes. So he was thinking like that. That my Lord is so merciful that although I'm such a sinner, an offender, and somewhat Mahaprabhu is displeased with me, but he is saying that in distant futures uh, he would allow me in his company. So what was the fault of Mukundadatta? His fault was that he would come to Mahaprabhu's pastimes. In his company, he would chant and dance. And same Mukundadatta, he would go to uh, Mayavadis and then hear their discourses. And seemingly enjoyed their discourses as well. So Mahaprabhu didn't like this. Mahaprabhu was displeased that this Mukundatta is being a hypocrite. He comes here chanting, dancing, shedding tears, and then same a person goes to Mayavadis and thinks, yes, yes. Advaita? Yes. This is good. So somehow Mukundatta showed some inclination to hear uh, those discourses on impersonal philosophy. And Mahaprabhu's instruction is very strict. Mayavadi bhasu shunile ayavas sarvanas. So anyone who hears the interpretations of Mayavadis, the offenders who consider that the name fame, glories, pastimes, attributes of the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna are simply manifestations of Maya. So they worship Krishna considering that his Vapu, his Shamsundar Vapu form is simply Maya. So this philosophy is diametrically opposed to Vaishnava philosophy or Bhakti philosophy. So Mahaprabhu was not happy with this. Mukundadatta then understood Mahaprabhu's desire. And as soon as, he, as soon as he resolved in his heart that from today I would never ever go to hear a Mayavadi or an impersonal atheist to speak on the glories on the pastimes and names of Supreme Lord Sri Krishna in such an offending manner. So then Mahaprabhu blessed him. He called him in his company. One time, Mahaprabhu heard Murari Gupta chanting Lord Ram's name. The Lord wrote on his forehead, he wrote, Ram Nam. He wrote Ramadas. <laughs> so Sichadan Mahaprabhu, he recognized Murari Gupta as Hanuman. His incarnation of Hanumanji. And Murari Gupta played a very important role, particularly uh, recording the pastimes of Sichadan Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu blessed Haridas Thakur as the Namacharya. Although Haridas Thakur himself felt very humbled in the company of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But the Lord blessed him as the Namacharya. And Haridas Thakur accompanied Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his later pastimes until the Lord. 
या इन पूरी पूरी धाम जगन्नाथ पूरी धाम सो टाइम टू टाइम श्री चेतन महाप्रभु वुड हियर डिस्कोर्स इज फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डिबोटीज एंड हरिदास ठाकुर इज वन ऑफ दोज डिबोटीज हु स्पीक द ग्लोरीज ऑफ द होली नेम सो महाप्रभु वुड कोट ही वुड से दैट रामंद राय हैज टॉट मी रस तत्व बट हरिदास ठाकुर ही हैज टॉट मी नाम तत्व so this way the lord would glorify shil haridas thakur one time the devotees were performing sankirtan and after the sankirtan they felt a bit hungry so sri chetan mahaprabhu the supreme mystic in bhagavad gita we say yatri yogeshwara krishna यत्र पार्थो धनुधरा यत्र श्रीर विजय और भूत्र ध्रुवा नेत्र मतृम सो कृष्ण इज योगेश्वर मास्टर ऑफ ऑल मिस्टिक ऑल मिस्टिक पावर्स सो श्री चैतन महाप्रभु इज ऑल्सो ए मिस्टिक सुप्रीम मिस्टिक सो ही इमीजिएटली डिजायर दैट देर शुड बी ए मैंगो ट्री एंड इन दैट मैंगो ट्री देर शुड बी मैंगोस सो देर वर मैंगोस there was a mango tree in shiva sangam then immediately mangoes came mango is sprouted and these mangoes were so red and yellow and very uh very sweet so mahaprabhu then took some mango washed them offered them to krishna and then distributed to devotees so from that day onwards every day of the year the mango tree was giving these mangoes so what is so surprising because in golok dham chintamani prakar sadmasu kalpa vriksha raksha vrte susura bhiravi palayantam in golok dham the vriksha kalpa vriksha these trees are kalpa vrikshas so anything you desire these trees will give the, give you So Mahaprabhu's pastimes then continued uh, in Shiva Sangun, and one time Sri Chetan Mahaprabhu displayed his uh, Mahaprakas, his universal form to Advaita Acharya. So many devotees were made fortunate to see these forms of Sri Chetan Mahaprabhu. Lokna Goswami sings, "Avatar Sar Gura Avatar." the essence of all incarnations is sri chetan mahaprabhu so mahaprabhu displayed many many wonderful past times in shiva sangam and day by day his ecstasies were increasing the lord was losing external consciousness in his daily activities during his teaching and Uh, during the day he was losing external consciousness and absorbed more and more in the mood of the gopis now what we see the sri chetan mahaprabhu he manifested himself as the complete supreme incarnation just like krishna is he is the supreme personality of godhead ete chand kala punsha कृष्ण स्थ भगवान स्वयं सो टूवर्ड्स दी थर्ड इन महाप्रभु इन नवद्वीप द लॉर्ड बिकेम मोर एंड मोर एब्सॉर्ब इन हिज पास टाइम्स इन एंड इन गोपी भाव वन टाइम द लॉर्ड स्टार्टेड सिंगिंग द नेम्स ऑफ द गोपीज एंड हिज स्टूडेंट then objected and why are you chanting name of the gopis and not name of krishna so time to time the lord would come to external consciousness but at times when he was in this mood of divinity as the supreme personality of godhead he would bless the devotees one time in his mahaprakash leela 
Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu called Advaita Acharya and blessed him. He said, Advaita, offer prayers to the same Supreme Lord who has given us the teaching of Trinadapi Sunichin. Time to time would order the, the devotees to worship him. So Advaita Acharya Prabhu offered wonderful prayers. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became very pleased. He said, that, he said, Acharya, Acharya Mahasaya, I understand. I also know that your heart is always ecstatic because of the pure bhakti, pure devotional service in your heart. At times, when you were teaching Bhagavad Gita, you would find a verse which was not directly glorifying bhakti. So then, that night, you would not eat, you would fast. But I used to come and in your dream, explain the verses, explain that particular verse in a devotional way. And then you would get up in the night and eat Mahaprasadam. But because of my Yoga Maya Shakti, you would not remember. And then in the night you would think, oh, I had a nice dream. Somebody came and explained the words of Bhagavad Gita in a devotional way. That was so nice, so fortunate. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu blessed all the devotees uh, by manifesting his divine forms. Sometimes he would go in the ecstasy of Nishangadeva. One time, when Shiva's Thakur was chanting the thousand names of Nishangadeva, the Lord got into the ecstasy of Nishangadeva. And he took a club, Gada, and he started roaring like lion, Nishangadeva, as if he is just about to destroy this universe. So whoever saw him, they started running here and there. But when the Lord came to external consciousness, he came back to Srivas Thakur Angan and said to Srinivas, that this is an offense, that people are afraid of me. And then he con concealed himself as a devotee. So we find that in Mahabhavaprakas or Mahaprakas Leela, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like an actor, as Kunti Devi is saying, Nato Nati Dharo Yatha, like an actor, although trying to conceal himself as a devotee, but he was in one way forced to reveal his divinity his supreme majesty and his Vrindavan sweetness to his devotees uh, who were blessed, seeing him in Shiva Sangun, seeing, seeing him uh, displaying his form in Advaita Acharya Prabhu's house. So these were wonderful moments of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, Leela. Particularly, uh, the last one year before Mahaprabhu took sannyas, the Lord displayed many, many wonderful forms. And alongside those pastimes, uh, we see the uh, deliverance of Chandikaji, deliverance of uh, Jagai and Madhai, particularly Chandikaji also happened when in his conversation, the Lord convinced Chandkaji that Vishwambhar, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And Chandkaji accepted it. So, this is a wonderful occasion that uh, we are celebrating 125th anniversary of the divine appearance of Sri Shil Prabhupada the foremost devotee of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. By the mercy of Srila Prabhupada, 
uh, we have come to understand Mahaprabhu. Otherwise, Mahaprabhu cannot be understood because he has concealed himself. Even a great uh, logic, logician and great uh, scholar like Sarbhum Bhattacharya also became bewildered. So Sarvam Bhattacharya was thinking that the Lord has been described in the scriptures as Triyuga. So how can there be any incarnation in Kali Yuga? But Mahaprabhu revealed himself, having heard Vedan Sutra from him for seven days and displaying his six-armed form. The six-armed form was not only manifested to Sarvam Bhattacharya, but to Nityanand Prabhu and many devotees in Navadip. Sarvam Bhattacharya then uh, admits Varagya Vidya Nij Bhakti Yogam Sikshartha Mekam Purusha Purana Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sharir Dhari Kripa Mudir Yas Tamaham Prapadhyay I worship the Purana Purusha, the most ancient of all the personalities Sri Krishna, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who has come here in this manifest world to teach Vairagya Vidya, the science, the art of renunciation, and his devotional service, Bhakti Yoga. So this Mahaprakash Leela gives the devotees opportunity to uh, absorb and Mahaprabhu's uh, very merciful pastimes and his merciful form revealing himself to his devotees. Although Sichetan Mahaprabhu took the manifested himself as a devotee, but we can see that in Mahap Mahaprakash Leela, the Lord was magnanimous and revealing his uh, supreme majesty and his sweetness of Vrindavan to devotees and showing them whatever they wanted to see. Just like Krishna wanted, Arjuna wanted to see the universal form of Krishna. So Arjuna in one place could see everything. He could see Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, entire creation, all the demigods, Lord Shiva, everything in one place. So similarly, in Mahaprakash Leela, in one place, in one personality, as Gaurasundar Mahaprabhu, he showed devotees whatever they wanted to see. Sometimes he would take the form of Nishingdev, Vishnu Murti, Lord Ramachandra, and sometimes he would show his six arm form to Nityanand Prabhu and other devotees. And these pastimes then show us that Chetan Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, beyond any doubt. So devotees in Krishna Consciousness Movement worship Chetan Mahaprabhu as Krishna himself, because this is what all the scriptures are confirming. Particularly, Srimad Bhagavatam uh, confirms Krishna Varnam Tusha Krishnam Sangu Pangastra Parshadam Yagya Sankirtan Praye Yajanti Hi Sumedasa. That Krishna Varnam Tusha Krishna. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is chanting Krishna, Krishna Varnam, alphabet Krishna, Krishna. And his Varna, his own complexion, is a Krishna or golden, not Krishna. So he is Krishna himself, but his complexion is golden. And he has appeared in this age of Kali with all his Angas, Upangas, and his uh, weapons. So Advaita Acharya Prabhu, Nityanand Prabhu, Gadadhar Pandit, Shivas Thakur, all the devotees, Angas, Upangas. And his weapon in, in this age of Kali is chanting of the holy name. So just like we were discussing earlier on, that Arjuna needed the uh, divine eyes to see Krishna. 
but mahaprabhu is more merciful anyone who chants krishna's name hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare so he is endowed with the mercy of sri chetan mahaprabhu to see krishna because mahaprabhu is krishna so this age kaliyuga is very fortunate and particularly the devotees of iskon are very fortunate to have taken shelter at the lotus feet of shil prabhupad because prabhupad as the foremost devotee of mahaprabhu has given mahaprabhu to everyone in this kaliyuga krishna said tumar krishna dite par tumar shakti aache so krishna belongs to his devotees and therefore the devotee has the capacity to give krishna to others so prabhupad is the pure devotee of sri chetan mahaprabhu and he has given mahaprabhu's the gift of mahaprabhu's name his teachings to everyone in this kaliyuga hare krishna so i would uh, i stop here and once again i want to thank uh, the organizers of gbc strategic planning team spt uh, for these nectarian uh, discourses on prabhupad chil prabhupad and uh, shri chetan mahaprabhu uh, devotees have benefited and i have been listening for for last four weeks and i'm looking forward to listen uh, to these discourses and we are also grateful to have this opportunity uh, to remember and uh, share the mahaprakash leela of sri chetan mahaprabhu sri chetan mahaprabhu ki jai sri prabhupad ki jai जय जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य गौरचंद्र जया दैत चंद्र जया जय निनंद जय जय गदाधर जय श्रीनिवास जय मुकुंद वासुदेव जय हरिदास